What's up, everybody? R2 Swift here. All right, you can see. Hang on, let me get it. Just ordered the, or just received it, HP tuners. Oh, man. Pain in the ass. Directions. Useless. I was having a problem with it connecting. It wouldn't resync, which is what you have to do. After you download the, uh, uh, what the hell do they call it? All right, that ain't gonna work for you guys. The VCM Suite from www.hptuners, sorry, uh, dot com forward slash downloads forward slash uh, driver. There's an A section, MPV one, two, or I, whatever. Device drivers are also available. You need the drivers. All right, when you get the drivers, uh, let me see if I can go back. Oh. I'll close that out. I probably don't need it again. Damn. Okay. Move this to the front. When you download the drivers, it comes in as a zip file. You can't open it unless you have a way to un, an, a way to open it. So get yourself a un, unzip file. So this is where I put everything in mine. You can see it right here. I opened it right here in this file, and then it's a setup file. So it'll download the device drivers to make everything work. I'm not a computer pro, I'm a car pro. But this was a pain in the butt to try to figure out. Because there's no, I looked on their website, their forum, they're just having guys with problems. And everybody's saying, oh, just disconnect and restart the computer. Nah, that don't work. You need to download uh, their software, their driver software and then a unzip file and unzip those, those files you get from HP Tuner device for the device. And then you'll be able to open up. Let me close that. And I just need one. Go to help, codes, and see everything opened up. I couldn't even get it to sync. So you're gonna need to do that before you can get anything to sync. All right, I hope we, this helped you. But, uh, yeah, there's no information on how to do that. So you're going to need to be able to unzip the file, the driver uh, file, the drivers for whatever program, whatever, for your computer. You're going to need a way to unzip it. Shut up. It's my dog. Need a way to unzip it, open it up in your computer, set up. There'll be a, it'll be a setup file. Open it up, go through, yes, I agree to whatever else, and then go back to your HPT, either the editor or the scanner. Go to the help window, which will pop open. Uh, I went to the activation key. Well, first I resynced, and you can see now it's saying reading from interface which before it said connect uh connect device which i already did and then it went to this closed it out then i went to the application which there's nothing in there so that was the wrong one and then verification code and then all the information popped up so now i'm gonna write well, this number down here, because that's what you need to register with HP Tuners on their website. And to, to, to uh, register your device on their website. All right, I hope this helped. If not, well, it should. If you're having the same problem, you can't seem to get it to resync. Then you're going to need their drivers. And once you download their drivers file from their website, let's see if I got it pulled up here. Here, there it is. Here's their drivers. You want this one here which is download VCM suite and then you want the drivers one this one up here has its own setup 
and files that'll open up, but you can't use it until you download the driver's file. When this comes in, it comes in as a zip file. So then you need a application or a program to unzip that file. And then once you get it unzipped, you know, click it and it'll do a setup. And then now you'll have the drivers for the HP tuner on your computer. Then you go back into the uh, editor page, go to help, and then go down to code. I think that's what it's called. It's called MPV12 verification code. And there's the there's the uh, number you need to register. And let's see. I know this is stupid. I don't even know if you need it, but then you can go into the where is my device? Third slot down. The first one is MPV1. I have the MPV2. So I'll put my serial number here and my verification ID there and then hit import. Let's see, maybe I can do that now. I'll do this. Copy. And then I'll do this. Copy. Paste and then import. And she's doing something. And now it's opened. So now you could add credits, purchase pro feature setup, whatever. I don't know what the hell all that is. Let's see what add credits does. I think this thing was supposed to come with too, but it what? Forty nine fifty bucks for what? Alright, I thought this thing was supposed to come with credits. You're viewing universal credits. I thought it said it came with it when I ordered it off of Amazon, but nevertheless, that's how you get into it. All right, later. R2 Swift, out.